Hey besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today we are decorating even more for fall. Fall is my second favorite F word y'all and it's time for pumpkin spice everything. This is part two of my fall decorating series and I can't wait to get comfy and cozy with you. In today's video you'll see my entryway decor, my brand new fall bar cart set up that I am literally obsessed with and I'll be sharing a perfect fall drink recipe with you guys. I'm still a bartender at heart. We gotta have something to drink during this. Then we'll be doing some cleaning to help us all get motivated girlfriend, decorating Cadence's room for fall and then last but not least I'm sharing a super easy budget fall charcuterie board. Basically this whole video is packed with fall vibes and I had to share them with you of course so thanks for being here girl. Let's get started. First up, I'm decorating my entryway. Can you ever really have enough fall decor? I don't know, but I'm willing to try to test the limit. Of course, my pumpkins are tangled, which sounds a lot more exciting than it is, but you can tell a lot about someone by the way they handled tangled Christmas lights and apparently tangled pumpkin garlands, I guess. Also, fall isn't complete without making my house smell like the great pumpkin himself took a poo in my living room. So of course, I'm adding every fall candle and cinnamon flavored wreath I can get my little hands on. If you're new here, my name's Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really Rainbow. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I love drinking coffee in my robe in the mornings, finding things on clearance, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, a slightly domestic and really relatable mom of two. I have two daughters who are four and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I hate figuring out what to make for dinner every night. I often look for my phone while I'm still holding it and I'm only a Pinterest mom when it's easy. So if you relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, travel, and daily life. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, what was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? So I bought a super cute fall bar cart from QVC feel like an old lady saying that I bought anything from QVC, but I actually got a really good deal on it and I actually really like QVC. Honestly, you'd probably be surprised about the amount of things I own from QVC. Anyway, let's all take a moment to thank my husband for putting it together. Claps and snaps for him because I hate putting things together that have a lot of pieces. Ikea is not for me. Anyway, here he is, actually home for once, putting my little cart together so I can make all of the fall drinks that we all need. So it might as well be a walking ad for Target at this point, but then what millennial mom isn't, right? The majority of my bar cart items come from the Target dollar spot. The little martini glasses, this wooden riser, the bottle, the flowers, they're all from the little dollar spot. To be honest, you can even get this glorious $8 champagne from the Target as well. It cost me all of $8, which I know is a little bougie, but you know, got a spring for you guys. So I wanted my cart to have some good fall vibes, like think cozy drinks by a fireplace, reading a book under a soft blanket while the wind blows outside, you know, chunky sweaters, lit candles, slippers, and crispy leaves. It's a vibe, y'all. That's pretty far from the 80 degree North Carolina days I currently live in, but a girl can dream, right? At least I got this bar cart. In the spirit of fall, I have to share one of my favorite fall spirits. Get it? <laughs> anyway, this is a caramel apple mimosa. 
So you're gonna take a champagne glass, dip it in caramel, then cinnamon sugar to make a beautiful and tasty little rimmer. Yum. Then you're gonna fill your glass with champagne and top with apple cider. Literally so simple, so easy. You can do equal parts of champagne and apple cider or you can just do a splash of apple cider. It really depends on the day you're having, am I right? Anyway, it creates a beautiful and tasty and cute fall beverage that's acceptable to drink before noon if you really want to. You do you, girl, no judgment from me. So let me know if you try it and be sure to tag me so I can have one with you. So if you're not subscribed yet, I wanted to let you know what you'll be seeing from my channel in the next few months and hopefully you can join the fam so you don't miss out on anything. Up next, I have a fall home tour so you can see my home in all its fallness, y'all. Pumpkins, leaves, and other cozy things are all around my house and I wanna invite you besties over to hang out. So you better get ready. After that, we're jumping headfirst into spooky season, Halloween, all of that, y'all. I'll be decorating the inside of my house, of course, as well as the outside. I can't wait to share all my fun and spooky outdoor decor, and I will also have some birthday party decor from Callie's birthday going up soon. Lots and lots to look forward to. Let me know which one you're excited for. As always, if you have questions about any of the products you see in today's video, make sure to check down below. I always try to link things that I used or similar sort of stuff. And you can find all sorts of links for everything from decor to my bar cart. And then I'll also leave recipes and stuff down below as well. So, Obviously, after drinking a mimosa, it seems like an appropriate time to clean something. I mean, cleaning while drinking is much more fun, if you ask me. Anyway, we recently had my daughter Callie's fifth birthday party. It was a whole ordeal, and of course, the house got super messy. But would it be a really great kid's birthday party if the whole house wasn't trashed afterwards? Probably not, to be honest. So, here I am, cleaning. If you're needing some motivation to clean today, then just take a look at me cleaning this in my grungy clothes because nobody needs to get dressed up to clean. And if you want to feel better about your house, just stick around for a few more minutes because soon you will be seeing how many dishes I have in my sink and it's insane. So I'm feeling very fortunate to be home more this fall. As you may know, I recently quit my full-time job as a corporate restaurant manager. It's been such a transition for me because I have worked full-time, been a full-time mom while my husband is away, and created for YouTube full-time for years. It's been such a challenge, and this year it really, really caught up with me. My mental health has been suffering. I was feeling so burnt out, negative, and drained, honestly. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Honestly, it was really, really tough. My last day at my full-time job was August 31st, and now I've been trying really hard to slow down, focus on things I love, and enjoy my life. And to be honest, it's actually been a lot harder to slow down than it sounds. But I'm fortunate that I have this side hustle of YouTube so I could quit. I truly hope that I can keep growing my channel so I can keep doing this and not have to do both again because in the long run, I feel like that's better. I'm also very fortunate that I have such a hardworking husband because I don't know what I would do without him either. Even though we're taking a bit of an income loss, I feel like in the long run, this is gonna be best for my family and for me. And it's been really nice to be home, being there for my kids and being able to do the things that I love, like decorating, fixing on my house, and being at all my kids' different events. Just know that if you're in a season of transition, you're not alone. Even some of the things that seem like they would be the easiest transition can have their own challenges and worries. Sometimes, even if you know it's for the best, it's still stressful. Being an adult is hard, y'all. So I just want to check in with you and let you know that we're all in this together. In the midst of all the fun holiday decor and all the fall stuff you see and all of the fun decorations. There are real people who are having struggles too and everyone feels like a mess sometimes. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again Never dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting Suddenly, there you were. Never 
Another of my favorite things to do around the cooler months of the year is to entertain. Honestly, I love hosting parties, creating little memories, and decorating. I think that's why I love charcuterie so much, y'all. It's perfect for any kind of get-together, and it's so easy. Y'all know I need things to be easy. I'm only the easy kind of Pinterest mom. A fall charcuterie board takes no cooking, which is great because I suck at cooking, and it always looks impressive. I don't understand why it is, but you can put something on a piece of wood, and suddenly you look like Martha Stewart. Am I right? So today we're gonna make a charcuterie board on a budget. This is a size for two to four people, perfect for sharing and perfect for fall. I have a few tips though if you're new to making boards and wanna make one of your own. So, number one, use an odd number. I like to do three or five cheeses because it's actually more visually appealing. Humans are weird and that is an actual fact. At least I retain something from my 15 years in hospitality, right? Anyway, three to five cheeses, that's all you need. Number two, you don't have to spend a lot of money. This board was under 30 bucks, all made with supplies from Aldi. Don't sleep on Aldi, y'all. They have an amazing selection of cheeses and meats and $3 bottles of wine. On this board, I have smoked Gouda, aged white cheddar, and brie, and I got all of them from Aldi. Number three, there are tons of viral cheese board hacks. You can look them up on TikTok, the internet is your friend. Like this one that I am doing with the salami to make a little rose. So easy, so cute, and better if you use a wine glass to make it. Just a pro tip. Tip number four, cut the cheese. I mean, you know what I mean. That sounds weird, but you get it. If you don't cut the cheese on your board first, no one's gonna eat it. Pre-slice them for your guests because people are too shy to do that themselves. We all have social anxiety, we just don't admit it. I don't know why people are like that, I'm like that, but whatever, just cut the cheese for them please, girl. All right, tip number five. You wanna see no space. You wanna make sure everything's touching and go for height. Make it interesting by making sure some of the cheese and crackers are standing up nice and tall. No one just wants some flat meat and cheese laying down on the board. Flat cheese is boring cheese. Just remember that next time you're making your next board. And my last tip, make it a themed board by adding in cute accoutrements. Accoutrement is just a fancy word for all the fillers that it takes to fill up the space, you know? I use pumpkin spice pretzels, cinnamon cookies, and these cute maple leaf cookies to really bring things together and give it that fall vibe that I wanted. So let me know down below if you have any questions about boards. I love talking about them, obviously, and I share lots of tips across all my social media on how to create fun boards. Honestly, they're the best. I don't know why my generation is so obsessed with it, but I guess when you grow up on Lunchables, this is what happens.
So the last thing I'm gonna do today is decorate Cadence's room and help her out a bit. Cadence is my nine-year-old daughter, okay? She's just like me. She's a great kid and a super busy kid. She does a ton of stuff. And I never wanna discourage her, but this girl is busy. She does competitive dance, violin, drama club. She's in the fourth grade and she's part of student council. Plus she's helpful around the house. She does her own laundry, helps with the dishes. And like I said, she's just like me. She tends to get a little stressed out if she has too much to do. So today I'm putting away her laundry for her and cleaning up her room. I want her to know that sometimes it's good to help each other out to help relieve stress, especially when it comes to household stuff. Tasks like putting away the laundry, cleaning up bedrooms, doing dishes, they're never done. It's just a constant cycle of doing the same thing over and over and that's okay. Care tasks are never finished. It's also good to make sure everyone in the house knows how important it is to help each other out when someone's busy. Somebody's got to pick up the slack and that's how a household runs smooth. It should never be all in one person and having chores for your kids is great, but that doesn't mean you can't help each other out too. So I want her to know that everyone should work together to get stuff done and to have that expectation going forward for the rest of her life. Luckily, she keeps her room pretty, you know, pretty clean. So I've got to give her that. It's probably cleaner than my room. This girl is crazy. I look up to her so much. <music> Cadence was always asking me to decorate her room for the holidays too. And so now that I'm finally finished decorating the rest of the house, I took a look at everything I have left and thought I would put it in her room. So show you guys what we got. Um, she actually bought this a couple weeks ago at the thrift store while we were thrifting. Super cute. Then I have this tree. I think this came from Michael's like a really long time ago. It's got like some little fall leaves. We've got a pumpkin spice season. I've got some like leaves, like a little garland. Um, a couple pumpkins, these are from the dollar spot, this pumpkin spice latte candle, and then Snoopy who is dressed for fall. And unfortunately, I love, while I love Snoopy, and you guys know that, um, I cannot put him in my decorations because he doesn't really go, but he's so cute, so I thought I'd put him up here. But I'm gonna throw a couple things together, sorry if I sound winded, I just walked the stairs and you know, you know how that goes, but I'm gonna put all this up for her. So give her a little bit of fall vibes before she comes home from school today. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again. Never dreamed about nothing else other than you. I always thought I'd be waiting. besties well that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me and thanks for celebrating fall with me if you're not subscribed and now is the perfect time to do that don't be shy and by the way if no one's told you you're doing a great job okay i'll see you guys next time bye just hold me now. i want to be so much better